Hey, what's up, guys? Happy Friday. This is the uh, first day of December, December the 1st, man. Um, so, um, guys, every uh, week, almost every day, I get different messages, different, um, you know, guys and um, some, you know, a few uh, ladies, but mostly guys that are in the same industry that I'm in. They will reach out to me and they will ask me questions. You know, a lot of guys have uh, basically followed me throughout the years of my journey of being in the cleaning, wood floor, carpet cleaning, maintenance industry, and um, just helping, coaching, inspiring, motivating so many throughout my years. So I, I woke up this morning uh, um, a, uh, a colleague sent me a message this morning, uh, like one o'clock in the morning, but he's in California, but it came through about one o'clock my time. And, um, it's about, you know, what I want to do is take this, this, um, this, um, uh, message that he sent me and basically talk about, you know, the power of focusing. And so he basically messaged me. He said, Hey dude, I'm reading a book called the one page marketing plan, which says that to really separate yourself from the competitors, you need to start out in your field and become a specialist, which I think you've already become with your wood floor refinishing services. I'm curious though, you and I offer roughly six different services altogether, but I only really hear you talk about success the success, the successful ones. Do you still put a lot of business? Do you still pull a lot of business from mattress cleaning, air ducts, upholstery? So, guys, to answer his question is no. I don't. I don't pull a lot of business from mattress, mattress cleaning, upholstery, air ducts. Now, we, you know, my my guy does do maybe. I'm going to say three to maybe six air duct cleaning jobs a month. Um, that's usually our, some of our repeat clients um, that see that we offer the services and um, they'll, you know, uh, be interested in it and they'll book us. But guys, basically to answer his question is no. The reason why uh, most individuals see me fo focusing and doing mostly it's the wood floor maintenance is because that's where I put my focus on. That's what I put my focus in. And what I've realized is with a lot of us, you know, and even myself, is that sometimes we're not fully focused. We're not focused in something um, that we really want to do or something we really want to apply to our lives. And we're basically what I call scatterbrain. We're all over the place. And I, I I did that for years, guys. And I will tell you from my own personal experience, it got me nowhere. It just caused a lot of confusion, a lot of um, uh, misleading yourself, you know, because um, sometimes it's not even others that mislead us. It's ourselves that's misleading us. And when it comes to focusing, like, for example, I, I like to use different strategies and different analogies when it comes to the power of focus. So let's say like, for example, you ever seen someone go fishing? And I remember when I was a kid, we used to go fishing all the time. And I remember, man, I used to see uh, people out there fishing and they would be, you know, sitting, sitting right at the uh, at, at the bay of the lake. And they would just be throwing their rods out there and just pulling in these little brims. And it's pulling me in every second, every second, every minute. Catfish, you know. But then when you really think about the guys that go out there to catch the the, the prize, the, the bass, you see what I'm saying? You don't see nobody out there just throwing a raw out there, just pulling bass out every minute, every second, right? Like the brim and the catfish. And what I do, I use those different analogies for myself because I realize is that when you focus, you know, on the bottom, because, you know, the reason why I, especially in the industry that I'm in, the carpet cleaning business, the reason why a lot of guys start at the bottom, because it's easy. Okay. And, and, and that's what, you know, mentally, that's what a lot of us want. We want the easy way. OK, but I'm here to tell you guys the easy way is not always the best way and it's not always the way that's going to get us to where we're trying to go. But unfortunately, a lot of people, they want the prize. They want the success. They want the financial freedom, but they, they but they want to take the easy way to it. OK. And just like those catfish and those brim, you can always go out there and throw a rod out there and just pull that 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 bottom feeder or that little brim out or that catfish out but that's not the prize so so when you see guys who who really you know go out there to to to, to uh catch the prize is it's patience it's a different strategy it's a different bait okay <laughs> they, they they have to go out 
into the lake. See what I'm saying? They're on their boats. I mean, think about it. You go to a, you ever turn on your TV during spring and summertime? You see what they have? Bass, bass um, uh, 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 contests. You know, these guys go out there fishing for bass. They're not out there fishing for brim and they're, they're not out there fishing for catfish. They're fishing for the prize. And those are the type of things that I think about when it comes to me and my business and also my own life is that I've realized, okay, because I see one thing about me and the reason why I've realized a lot of uh, people reach out to me because they've seen my, my, my story. They see where I started and they seen the transformation. And that's what a lot of these guys, like this guy just asked me, they're trying to figure out Well, Courtney, like I had a guy ask me two days ago, how did you make that transition? You know? And Again, guys, I just focus. And not only did I focus, when I realized I needed to make a decision, I made that decision and I stuck with it. A lot of us say, oh, I want to do it. But then we'll give ourselves too much time to think about it. We'll give ourselves too much time to dwell on it. We'll give ourselves too much time to want to go talk to other people about it and get their opinion. And then what again, that's why I say we start misleading ourselves. We start causing confusion within ourselves and that gets us sidetracked and that gets us unfocused off something that can basically change, you know, our, our circumstances. So, um, so guys, you know, that's just the power of focusing. And I will say this mentally to is, is, and if you hear most successful people, when they talk about, um, what, what really drives them to true success, it's really your, your, your mindset. You see what I'm saying? You can have the money, you can have the skills. If you ask, you know, like Michael Jordan, okay, to, in my opinion, greatest basketball player ever. And when you hear him talk, he didn't talk about him, his skills, okay? He didn't talk about, you know, just shooting the basketball. He talked about the mindset. Muhammad Ali, they talk about the mindset. Tom Brady, you know, because I, I like sports and I listen to these guys and, and you know, and, and I love listening to their, you know, their documentaries and their interviews because it, it, it shows you it's, it's a, you know, it's a diff. They have a different mindset of, of, of most, you know, uh, uh, athletes that do the same thing that they do. And it's just how they think. See what I'm saying? It's how they think. And that's what I realized is that that's where it starts. It starts in how you really think about yourself, your future, your circumstances, and really homing in and focusing, focusing. So I just want to say, um, yeah, I, I, I just focus on what's going to get me to where I'm trying to go. And I'm finding that and I'm starting to understand that every single day. And this is why I don't focus on carpet cleaning. This is why I don't focus on mattress cleaning, air duct cleaning, because that's not going to get me to where I'm. And, and it doesn't mean it's not going to get somewhere else, someone else to where they want to be in their lives. But I know it's not going to get me to where I want to be in my life. So I have to focus on a bigger and better prize. I have to focus on something like he, like he said, that's going to separate me. OK, and put me in a different category than most people. And that's what I do, guys. I'm always strategizing. Uh, for example, I went and gave a lady a quote Monday to get her reef of her floors redid. Right. And her quote came out to about thirty one hundred dollars. Well, she called me this morning. She said, hey, Courtney, we was watching a video, which is one of my, you know, things that I use to separate myself. And she said, we noticed that the job that you did last Friday, they got three coats. And after watching that video, we wanted to get a third coat. And we also want to add the stairs and the hallway. Well, guys, that job doubled. OK, it doubled. OK, it went for almost three thousand dollars to six thousand dollars. And that's what I'm talking about. Using certain things to separate myself and using certain things to focus. OK, and that's what I do. And that's why I'm able to do what I do in my, my, my business, in my life, because I strictly focus. I home in on what I want. I know it's not going to come easy. That's what a lot of people have to understand. I know it's going to take patience. What a lot of people don't understand, I know it's going to take work. But I know if I stay in tune with what I want, I will get 
what I want. All right, guys. See you in the next one.